Hi, this is Sassy Scrapper and I'm doing a tutorial on a wallet mini album. You will need one sheet of cardstock at 6 by 12, scored at 3 and 3 quarter, 4, 8, and 8 and 1 quarter. You will need two sheets of cardstock cut at 3 and 7 eighths by 12 and scored at half inch and six and one quarter. So we need that. So you're going to fold these matchbook style. Fold on your score that half inch score line. Line it up on your scoreboard. It's just easier this way for me to make sure that my flat will fold and everything ends up square. Same thing with the second one. by 12. You want to make sure that everything is square. You don't want this folding crazy. So make sure everything is lined up on one side. on all four of those score lines. See how it can go off kilter. You do not want that. Make sure that the one edge is straight with the other. Okay, now it will fold square. So let's get this out of the way so we can do these together. I'm using three and one glue. This half inch strip here will be what we use to attach these together. I know the three and one is a little bit more time consuming than ATG, but I want to actually be able to use this afterwards. When you attach it, make sure that it's aligned at the very edge and centered on these score lines. So that when it's folded, Everything lands nice and neat. I'm going to use this adhesive eraser to get up that extra glue. That's why I use the three in one. It works great with this adhesive eraser while it's wet, anyway. just like that. Okay, and you do the same thing with the other side. This little half inch strip just acts as your hinge. Cut it shorter four inches just so it would be easier to get between those score lines. Okay. OK, 
can make it a little bit wider, but if you actually go all the way to four inches, when you go to, to fold it up square, it's going to be too tight of a fit. This is a really good starter album if you've never made a scrapbook. And if you have, it's just a really quick album to make for a thank you gift or I happen to be making one for my mother-in-law who just became a great grandmother. Get off all that excess glue. And that's that's pretty much it. That's the whole thing. All you need to do is add pretty paper. I actually got this idea from Dawn's Inspirations, who got the idea from Jen Wright on YouTube. I changed my measurements a little bit. I made mine to where it would be six inches wide, four inches high. I wanted to be able to use a six by six paper pad. Hers measures four inches high by six and seven eighths. Didn't quite work out for me. If you're using light cardstock, this is the time for you to ink your edges. And I actually rounded my, uh, my outside corners, all outside corners, to look like this. Not necessary, but I happen to like the way it looks. This would also be the time for you to add your magnet. And with the magic of video, I've already decorated most of mine. And here are my magnets. I close it up and I make sure it is square. Put a pencil line here so I know where to where the paper ends. And then I make sure I go above that to place my magnet. I use score tape. When you close it up, again make sure it's square. Just go ahead and let it go and it will land where it needs to be. I draw a circle around my magnet at that point. And then I add my glue and then put my magnet on top of the glue, score tape. That way I know it's all gonna line up perfect. Okay, if you have any kind of directional paper this inside, it doesn't matter. It's not directional. Well, actually it is a little bit. This has butterflies. You don't exactly want them doing a nosedive. This paper has to be right side up, so it's directional. The bees, again, directional. So what I do is, since we know this is up, I point arrows. And the reason for that is when I flip it around to add my paper, I do it where it's easiest for me. Well, if it's directional, I need to know which way is up. I unfortunately had at one point added some paper. This is actually the correct way. Everything's right side up. Until you get to this part. Now it's upside down. From this point on I now put an arrow. Just tilts out. Okay. Before you add all of your pretty paper, you want to add, you want to ink your edges. I, by chance, use black cardstock as my base because, well, one, I, I
prefer the look. And two, you don't really have to ink it. So, but you still have to ink the cardstock or the, the pattern paper. I add my glue about an eighth of an inch from the edge. And then I spread it out with my bone folder. And get, um, sometimes it oozes out a little bit, sometimes not so much. And I get it as close to the edge as possible because I don't I do not want my paper to lift. You can add another strip of uh, score tape there if you want. I, I don't think it's really necessary. I've never had them come up before. Or you could add just a little dab of glue right there. When I measure out my pattern paper, if it happens to be a four by six section from the score line to the end, and from end to end, I just cut it a quarter inch shorter each way. So then it would be three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And we'll leave a one eighth inch gap. All the way around, like a frame. And that's it. Very easy to do. All you have to do is have the pattern paper and here's a little click. Quite easy. I'll show you another one. This is another one that I did the correct way. Thank goodness. Sorry. I thought I had pictures in there. totally different look, but yet it's the same project. Um, when making something for someone, I know everybody wants to use whatever pattern paper that they prefer, but you need to take into consideration who you're giving it to. Um, I'm giving this to my mother-in-law and she loves flowers and roses and antiques and anything vintage. So this is perfect for her. But for me, I prefer this one over here on the right. Um, but I want her to want to go look at this album, not just for the pictures, but because she thinks it's beautiful. So I chose what she would like, even though it's not necessarily something I would pick for myself. Well, have fun playing with it. And thanks for watching.